Hello, Gemini. Welcome to this 2021-2022 year in review. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this is, first and foremost, a general reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but this video is intended for any sign placement, okay? It really doesn't matter. Um, I, a spirit has guided and instructed me to leave this open for your... For, for you. I mean, obviously, your, ma your main three placements, sun, moon, and rising, are going to most likely be the, be the most accurate with your rising being at the top of that list. But you could literally take these messages in terms of anywhere that or anything that you have within Gemini or whatnot, whatever, okay? Um, and then if you want to watch a bunch of them and compare and contrast the notes from, from in, in each of the videos or whatnot, that's highly recommended as well. Yeah? So what we're going to do is I have two tarot decks here. I'm going to use one deck to look at what 2021 has been for you. And then we're going to use the second deck to look off into the future and see what could be the general theme for you for the 2020, for the year of 2022. Yes. And then we're going to close out the reading with some general guidance from the Light Worker Oracle. Excellent, Gemini. Ooh, six shuffles. Okay. I'm hearing six shuffles for you. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to look at 2021. One. So what has 2021 been about for Gemini? This is two. Nope, try that again. This is two. This is three. For my Geminis. Four. Five. Take this one. Okay. And six. Okay. So one card has come out for you. So far. And I feel like this is the big overall energy for... Yeah, okay. Overall energy for you here for the year of 2021. You do have the Page of Pentacles. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles, I heard Principles. This might have something to do with your um, moral alignment. The principles that you align with came under question in 2021. And there was some truth that you received behind it. Whether Whatever that truth was specifically, it doesn't matter. What matters is that whatever truth or clarity or understanding you got about it, it's helped you to make adjustments. For some of you, you realized you started to see the truth of what it is you were believing in or what it is you were subscribing to. And that influenced some change within you. That influenced maybe a desire or a reason to, a, a logical reasoning to make some sort of change in the realm of your principles and moral alignment, okay? What else for Gemini for the year of 2021? Okay, okay. Three of Wands is next with, what was 2021 like? Oh, the Tower. Anything else for 2021 for Gemini? What was 2021 about for Gemini? Yeah, that, like you guys, some of you, ah, damn, the Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I think everybody so far, Aries and Taurus, have gotten the Queen of Swords. It, it seems that the year of 2021 so far, I mean, I'm only three readings deep into this into this series right now, but it seems that the year of 2021 really helped us change things, helped us get clear on some things that we needed to do away with in our lives, okay? But you have here, with this page of pentacles, you have the three of wands with the tower. And before the tower even came out, when I was looking at the three of wands, I was feeling like... I, I was feeling this this energy of like, how do I move forward with this? And some of you have been asking or were asking yourselves that question because you came to a realization of what it is you actually were subscribing to or aligning with or whatnot, whatever. And I'm hearing you got detail oriented and you started to say to yourself, wait a second, how in my right mind could I actually move forward with this belief system? Or how could I really move forward in life believing this? Like, where is this ultimately going to take me? And for some of you, you started to realize that it was going to take you in a place that you definitely did not want to go. And thus the tower moment happened. 
in which that was changed. And you have this queen of swords here. There was something about your principles or your belief system, Gemini, that was deceptive. Queen of Swords, underneath the Queen of Swords, is the Seven of Swords to the Four of Swords to the Devil. You got very clear, very, very, or at least you have been able to, and you still have this possibility. I mean, there are, there are no hard lines in this energy, right, or in energy at all, so this could even... This could even reach into 2022, okay? But like there is a level here of getting very clear on the devilish attachment, attachments, the toxic ties, um, the codependency maybe for some of you, um, the lies, the trickery, the deceit. Some of you started to realize that maybe something that you were subscribed to was deceitful. Whether that be because you ended up being deceived by it or you started to realize that others were being deceived by it. And you didn't want any part of it any longer. You have one last card that's come out here. It's the world in reverse. Oh, that's interesting. Why is the world in reverse here for Gemini? What's the world in reverse, please, Spirit? What's the world in reverse? Okay, well, we are back to the Ace of Swords. This is very interesting. Uh, already, I was kind of feeling like the world in reverse kind of represented uh, the fact that this needed to be let go of or done away with a long time ago. And now you have, and you have that, the world in reverse, you have that clarified by the Six of Cups so far in reverse. There's more, but, but let's start here. This might have had something to do with family or your lineage or your heritage. What I'm getting with the Six of Cups is that there's something that is heavily involved. There's something from the past that is heavily involved with this. And the strongest thing that I'm getting here, Gemini, is that a bunch of people, a large group of people, a mass collective of people, believed in this or subscribed to this or whatnot, whatever. And so that made it acceptable. That made it okay. Well, because they're all doing it. So like, I, shit, I might as well follow suit, right? Until the morality of the situation came into question. Okay. And so, and thus overall energy, you do have the ace of swords so there is clarity here, but there's also a level of making your own choice. Now, you do have the lovers here, Gemini, and that does represent you, but it's more than that. It's not just because, you know, you're a Gemini and this is your reading, so you have the lovers here to represent you. No, the lovers represents ultimate choice in the realm of free will. Everybody has the right to make their own decisions for themselves. Everybody is born with that God-given right to make their own decisions for their own selves, to serve their personal highest good, right? So ultimately, yes, you're a Gemini, and yes, this is your reading, but ultimately the choice really was yours, and it has always been yours, okay? So you had to clear your mind here, Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords, to figure out how to complete this cycle. Ten of Pentacles is underneath the Ace of Swords. Underneath the Ten of Pentacles is the Knight of Cups to the Six of Swords. So this decision, Gemini, and how to move forward basically came from your heart. And it feels like maybe for some of you, you actually grew a heart. <laughs> or at least you became more compassionate and self-aware, I did just hear. And that put into perspective a lot of your choices or a lot of your... Um, your morals or a lot of what you were you were aligned with, how that was affecting other people as well. That is a pretty heavy energy here. How things or how your choices or your belief systems may have also been affecting other people and probably in an adverse way. This is really big of you, Gemini. But this is all part of the personal transformation process that we all signed up for in choosing to incarnate in this lifetime. Right? Okay, cool. So let's move forward here. Let's look off into the future. Five shuffles. What is 2022 looking like for you, Gemini? One. Two. Three. 
three. Four. And five. All right. So what is 2022 looking like for you, Gemini? Let's see. Independence. First card out is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles can also represent the energy of being a free thinker. Huh, look at that, Gemini. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Well... You're showing up again because now overall energy here is the Page of Swords. And I see the Pages and the Knights as the mutable signs. So that for the air signs, that would be Gemini. Um, okay, but wait, stop right there. You have the Nine of Pentacles to the Tower again. Your sense of independence, Gemini, is really going to shake some things up for a lot of people around you. And you may end up appearing as somebody brand new versus the person that they knew you as in the past. Okay. Wow. So I feel like, Gemini, a healthy dose of compassion, compassionate understanding to the towards the plight of other people has really entered into your life at this time over the course of this last year. Because what you have here for what 2022 is looking like for you, you have the Four of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Compassion of the Ace of Cups. So I feel like there's going to be some truth and some clarity. I also feel like there's going to be some work that you will be doing to help... <laughs> Sorry, Jinx is chasing lizards. To help... Um, Clear away some of this entrenched energy, okay? The Four of Pentacles, all right? Now, this is all in terms of compassion here. Compassionate understanding and truth and clarity. King of Swords with the Ace of Cups. And then overall energy for you is the Page of Swords. Underneath the Page of Swords is the Sun. To the Seven of Cups, to the Knight of Wands, to the Eight... Okay, I'm getting a pretty distinct feeling for some of you, Gemini, that you are going to be um, working in some capacity to be an agent of change or an advocate of change for the better. I'm hearing there are certain causes that you may want to start working with or taking up the charge of. I'm getting very specifically also with the Page of Swords here, I'm getting communication. Whether that be communication to teach or to share information or communication to receive more information. But this communication is coming through in terms of the clarity, the understanding of what it is you've known or what it is you know at this point or what it is you've seen over this process. Okay. Gemini, I really kind of want to call you an agent of change right now. And that's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Anything else for Gemini for 2022? The Fool. A brand new start. Taking a leap of faith. I also heard enjoying your life circumstances. So maybe you've come out of a belief system that was fairly lack mentality-like. Or maybe you're finding a new lease on life. You're finding a way to enjoy things now more than you may have been able to in the past. Overall energy now is the Eight of Wands. Um, a lot of clarity, a lot of understanding, a lot of truth, a lot of communication. But also a lot of clearing obstacles, whether that be obstacles having cleared, been cleared from your life and or working to clear obstacles for, on behalf of others. That's, that's really awesome, Gemini. Let's close this out. Let's get your oracle guidance here. I'm going to give this three shuffles. Uh, what? Five shuffles. Okay, five shuffles. One, 
and we will get see what this closing message will be for you. Two. Three. Four. Whoops. Four. And five. Alrighty, y'all. Let's get into this. Closing Oracle Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. For this 2021-2022 year in review. You have card number 14. Soul Child. Rebirth is upon you beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for new life, and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle, of intense inner work and physical transformation, has arrived. Enjoy getting to know this new self. It is a new day, a new beginning, a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take your time to explore the increase of your light power and love excellent i'm gonna leave it there gemini thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are interested in getting one of these readings uh for yourself personally so looking at for you specifically what 2021 was and what 2022 is looking like for you send me an email my email can be found in the description box below and i will get you all set up yes but anyway i love you guys and i'm sending you so much love and i look forward to connecting with you again very soon yes Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>